Hey everyone, I'm Gunix here and welcome back to a brand new Godot tutorial here on the channel where today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add wind to your Godot game. So in case you didn't know, you can actually add wind which can affect soft body 3Ds in Godot. So if I go test out this scene right now, as you can see I have my soft body banner here so when I walk into it, it moves around. By the way, if you haven't watched my tutorial on how to use soft body 3Ds, I actually made one recently, so be sure to check that out if you haven't already. But anyways, uh, that tutorial will be important if you don't know how to use soft body 3Ds already, because wind in Godot is mainly for the soft bodies. So let's get into it. Alright, so first off what we're going to do is we're going to add an area 3D to our scene. So I'm going to go add child node, area 3D, and there we go. So I'm just going to call this a wind zone. You don't have to call it anything, I'm just doing this so then I know what it is. And then next up, uh, if you actually look in your area 3D, so if you select your area 3D and then look to the uh, right here in the inspector menu, you'll see the wind tab, click on this, and then this is where you'll see the settings for your wind. So we have our force magnitude and our uh, attenuation factor. So basically changing these values will basically affect how the wind will behave with your soft bodies. So on our area 3D here, uh, right click on it, add child node, and you want a collision shape 3D as well. So I'm just going to set this to a spherical shape, and then I'm just going to go upsize it. I'm going to go upsize the radius a bit, just like that. You can make your radius however big you want. So basically uh, whatever is inside of the collision shape will basically be affected by the wind. And by the way, as far as I know by Godot 4.5, it is only uh, soft bodies which are affected by wind. In fact, if you actually look here, uh, with the area 3D selected, if you hover over the force magnitude thing, it literally says here, uh, notes, this wind force only applies to soft body 3D nodes. Other physics bodies are currently not affected by wind. So who knows, maybe in future Godot versions there could be a change where then you could have rigid bodies be affected by wind too, which I think would be quite cool. But for now, it's only soft bodies, which is still pretty cool, but yeah. Alright, so for now, I am going to turn up the force magnitude. I want to turn it all the way up. We'll see how it looks all the way up. And then with the attenuation factor, we'll just set that to 1. And so what we're going to need now is a source path. So what the source path is, is that basically determines the direction where the wind is coming from. So on my level node here, on my parent node of the scene, I'm just going to go add child node, and I'm going to add a node 3D. So now, uh, I do recommend that you have this option selected here. So what this is, is this basically allows you to see like the local rotation and direction of your node. So as you can see with my node 3D, I can see it rotating like that. But then if I deselect, it basically just has the same global rotation uh, displayed all the time. But I don't want that, I want to see the direction. So make sure you do click that here, make sure it's blue. So basically, I'm just going to put this up a bit. And uh, I want to have it facing in this direction, so this is the direction in which my wind is going to be facing, it's going to be blowing that way. And I'm going to call this, uh, I guess, wind node. And then on the wind zone here on my area 3D, where we have the source path, I'm going to fill in that with the wind node. And now, if we go ahead and test, uh, this should all work out. And boom, as you can see, the wind is now blowing our banner. So yeah, as I said, depending on the sort of factors you have chosen, uh, that will change how the wind behaves with your soft bodies. So as you can see with my banner, it's being blown out in this direction. Let's set the attenuation factor all the way up, and uh, with the direction, let's make it a bit more forward. Alright, let's go test it out now, and uh, I'll now it's just very smooth. So in case you don't know what the attenuation factor is, as described by Godot, it is the exponen exponential rate at which wind force decreases with distance from its origin. So basically, uh, the reason as to why it was so smooth just then is because higher values equal to a, a, smoother, a smoother look. So if we were to set this all the way to zero, I wonder how it would look. And yep, now it is totally crazy as you can see now. It is just blowing very crazily. So yeah, anyways guys, that is how wind works in Godot. It is pretty simple. 
to get working all you need is an area 3d and just a node there's no coding involved at all it's literally just as simple as that so anyways guys thank you all for watching this video hopefully you can all find a good use for the wind in your game i'll see you all soon in my next video and bye bye